Yo, what's up everybody? Uh, today I am making this video because I think that my DIY camera car is finally ready for some real world filming. And my very good friend D has generously given me access to number one, look at this. That is the key to a Bentley Continental GT. Here, we have the keys to, do you see that logo there? A Porsche 911 Carrera Turbo S. Both very beautiful cars. The system consists of an outer cage that's constructed of Pro-Aim, Steel, Speed Rail, just a whole bunch of DIY clamps. I'm using a super clamps to rig onto the front towing hooks. And this cage supports the Pro-Aim Airwave arm that pretty much uh, deals with the big bumps. And then on the end of the Pro-Aim Airwave arm, I've got the three axis damper and the damper is what prevents the camera from excessively swaying left, right, back, forth on the various axes. And then underneath the damper, I've got a vibration isolator that is meant to deal with all the smaller, more high frequency jitters. And then under that, finally, I've got the DJI RS3 Pro Gimbal, which to mount my Alpha 7 IV. And it's great because I can use the scroll wheel to do focus. So I rigged it so that I can use a V-mount battery to power the whole setup because when you run out of batteries on this thing, it is a real pain in the ass to change the batteries. I don't want to disassemble things. Uh, in order to try to get the maximum quality out of the camera, I'm using an HDMI output from the Alpha 7 IV so I can get a uh, full 422 video to record into the Ninja 5. And then on the monitoring size of things, of course, everyone needs to be able to see what we're doing. So I've got a monitor mounted inside the camera car. So uh, here it is. Let's go for a test run. 